Hello friends, this is Teacher Amelia here and it is 6.30 in the morning and I had a class cancel so with a few minutes on my hands I thought I'd share with you the custom reward system that I did for my last class. So our lesson today was uh, talking about actually the months of the year and our last lesson was the days of the week and in the lesson today one of the main components was understanding ordinal numbers. So January is the first month of the year. Wednesday is the third day of the week or sorry fourth day of the week and so um, I had put together rather than the standard standard reward um, I had put together this custom reward and basically I just printed on a little PowerPoint slide what day of the week is it and each day is listed in the order that they are in the PowerPoint, Sunday through Saturday. And then I also listed the first, second, third, fourth, you know, fifth, sixth, and seventh. So we've got those ordinal numbers in there. And when I wanted to reward my student today, I let her pick a day of the week. Now she's a pretty advanced student, and so she's quite a little conversationalist. And so I would ask her what day she wanted to pick. And so her first answer was, I want to pick today. And so I said, well, what day of the week is it today? And she said, today is Friday. And so, ta-da, we pull that off and she gets a star. Um, then, you know, the next time I said, what day do, do you want to pick? And she said, I want to pick yesterday. And I said, well, what day was yesterday? And so she said, yesterday was Thursday. And so we pull that off. And you'll see that's actually a math game. Now, this wouldn't necessarily be appropriate for all levels of student, but like I said, she's pretty advanced. And so what I did for that one, if I can find my dry erase marker, well, let me grab my spare up here. Um, so what I did with that one is I had my whiteboard and I asked her how many days of the or how many months are there in a year she said there are 12 months in a year so I wrote 12 and then I asked her um, what month is it now she said November it is November and I said what month is November and she got it's the 11th month and so 12 minus 11 and I said how many months are left in the year and this was a pretty hard problem for her but we eventually worked it out and got that there was one month left in the year that 12 minus 11 was one and so then I went ahead and rewarded her with a star for that so that was an example of extending because she had she had the days and the months pretty much down, down. So we continued to go through here. We had seven total rewards and there were four stars listed on there. Um, and then there were three other rewards. And so um, Monday was actually her next choice. And so we got to sing a song and I had little music notes there. I'm not sure if you can see that. And um, I had just Googled songs about the months and got uh, pulled up the one on YouTube that was uh, January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August. And it went on and, and went through the whole, you know, these are the months of the year. Well, I got the first couple out, and she knew the song, and so she sang the rest of it. So it was awesome. Love it when a student gets a chance to demonstrate what they already know. The only other one that I have here that is not a star was on Tuesday and we didn't actually get to that one but as you can see it was a word jumble and again I made this specifically for this student so you could customize it and do any sort of a, a letter activity if you had a, a less advanced student and so one of the things that I do with my little whiteboard here is you'll see on this side here's where I wrote my math number on the other side ta-da off camera I already had some magnetic letters um, set out 
And um, again, I knew that she knew the months of the year because she had talked about them in our last lesson. And so even though this lesson focused on January, February, March, and April, I went ahead and picked a little harder one and had the words jumbled for, or the letters jumbled for November. And so what I would have done if we had gotten to this was um, I would have had shown her this and, and said, okay, can you tell me what month this spells and helped her spell it out. And I probably would have skipped ahead to the blank slide so that she could draw and, and write it on there. And, you know, if a student, if, if you get into something like this and you find that they're not getting it and it's becoming discouraging for them, then you can help. That's the great thing about magnetic letters. So you could say, all right, the first letter is, and they say, Anne. And then the second letter is, oh. And then you can do it, you know, one letter at a time and help them until they get it. And then yay! And then give them a star for it. So that was what I did with my custom reward system. I'm very sad. Our class ended early because of some IT issues on her end. And so we didn't actually get to go through the whole thing. Um, but I'm really, you know, we got to do two of the three activities. And she certainly liked getting the stars. So I think this is one that I'll probably keep in the rotation. And... Um, you know, you could easily change up your questions. I wrote on here, you know, first, second, third, fourth. And so if she had said Wednesday, I could say, what day of the week is Wednesday? And she could say, Wednesday is the fourth day of the week. You could do this with months. You could do this with all sorts of things that you're trying to reinforce. So I just thought it was a fun, easy way to really extend on the lesson. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you have questions or you have ideas of your own, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Uh, also, if you're looking for somebody to help guide you through the process at VIP Kid, I would be happy to do my best to help. So I will also put my referral link down in the bottom. So please reach out and I hope you have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.